Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC and ATV. And today, we're taking a look at my Advanced VX mount from Celestra. Right now, we're currently slewing to Neptune. I, I don't think we're gonna see much. This is a Orion Short Tube 120 Reflector, which is actually a pretty good match for this mount. Um, you can see it's pretty dude over. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have a look. Yeah, it's a little tiny dot. This there. We're currently on Nep or uh, Uranus opposition. So, let's go ahead and slew to Uranus. Not Polito, we want Uranus. Alright, we're going. So it's in frame. You're not gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna have to cut the flash off. I don't know if I can do that in video. Don't think I can. Um, uh, there's just no way. Yeah, you can't really see it. But I can. Oh, so it's pretty bright right now. Anyways, just more showcasing the mount itself. It's a really cool mount. It's pretty value oriented but you actually get a lot for your money um this will hold up to like a c8 or a c9 and a quarter but um you're really pushing it at that i've actually mounted my xt8 tube up to this at once when i first got it and it was had a little bit more jitter in it than i wanted so i went ahead and went this short tube 120 orion here it has chromatic aberration but for visual it's great i mean if you can slew let's see Let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, let's go ahead and slew to Jupiter. Oh, it's gonna do a zenith flip. Which basically means that it's gonna orientate the scope in the other side of the sky. Field of view. Now we want to go back to this field of view. Stay with this camera. It's dark. And we're out in the country, so we have pretty dark skies. Alright, so we should be on Jupiter. Let me just verify that. Oh, yeah, we're definitely on Jupiter. But I can't turn the flash off to show you. You might be able to make it out a little bit there if I cover this up. Nah. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. You see that little dot? That's Jupiter. Can't make out the moons because this little flash is uh, blocking it out, but we're definitely tracking Jupiter and I can see three moons currently. Move on to Saturn. See how easy it is to do this. Now the alignment process is not as easy um, but I've gotten pretty good at it. It's a two star line and then you can add calibration stars as you move through your alignment. And uh, it's really actually pretty simple. You just get it roughly aligned to your, um, your polar alignment. So you're talking about Polaris. So you align the, the scope, I mean the mount and the scope mechanically to Polaris using these, these knobs here, right here and your delineation here for asthma. Um, but yeah, once you have it aligned to Polaris, you start making your star alignments in the software. And once you do that, you're good to go. And you can add as many calibration stars as you want. I generally stop with two, because it's pretty good after that. You can get pretty much anything in your field of view, and then you can make fine adjustments here with your uh, arrow keys, and then hit a line, and it'll kind of lock that in while it tracks whatever you're tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out of flash mode, and we're going to see if we can see some planets. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see that right now. 
You should be able to. That is Saturn. Kind of hard to keep it in view. And I'm looking through an Orion uh, planetary eyepiece. Let's see if I can get to focus at all. Oh, it's so difficult to do this. Right there. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. That Saturn. This is not doing this justice at all. But, um, yeah. Right there. As soon as I find it, I lose it. Okay, right there. It's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, let's see if we can find Jupiter. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve the scope. Um, I can get to focus. Uh, we can go back to Uranus, Saturn, uh, Jupiter right there. I'm just going to slew a little bit. Jupiter's not that far away in the sky from Saturn right now. Saturn's a little bit ahead of it. But, um, oh yeah, Jupiter's definitely a better object to observe. It might be too bright. The camera's probably just going to look like a big old glow. Let's see. Um, no, there you go. There's Jupiter. And three moons currently. Uh, visible. It's about 9:30 p.m. So that's Jupiter. I'm gonna go ahead and slew it to Uranus just because we can. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see that much, but it's worth a shot since we're at opposition, right? And this isn't gonna happen again in our lifetime. Well, here we go. We're slowing. Can't see anything because it's dark, but. Control you can see right here. I'm gonna give you an overview of it. So basically we have your align button, your inner, your back, directional arrow keys, solar system, stars, deep skies, that's gonna be your messier and named objects. Uh, identify sky tour, your scroll buttons, you use that to scroll through items in the list. Menu gets you into your deeper settings and more stuff. Uh, Celestrian button, don't really know what that is yet. Object info, gives you a little readout on what you're looking at. And then the motor speed, so if you want to speed up or slow down the motor, you can you make finer uh, alignment adjustments. Okay, so we've had our Zenith flip. We should be tracking Uranus. And let me just confirm, we are tracking Uranus. It's there. I need to do a little bit of a arrow align because I mean, the mount is very accurate, but Uranus, I mean, Uranus is very far away. So we need to actually, I'm going to pull it into the middle. I doubt y'all are going to be able to see it. It's pretty dim, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. So the sensor in the camera is not sensitive enough to pick it up. Make sure this is still on. Yep. Yeah, I just don't think this, this object's not bright enough for anything to be picked up on. I'll see if I can take a still image of it. And then display it on screen. But yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I saw it. Oh. I don't know if you can see it right there. You see it? That's Uranus. I, I mean, it's very faint. You see that little blue ball on screen about midway through, uh, a little bit to the right, the center of the screen. Little blue ball. And it's just gone away now. I've moved it too much. Anyways, that's Uranus. Currently at opposition. And it looks pretty fantastic through this telescope. And the mount is dead on tracking. So, this is definitely a good mount. So anyways, guys. Um, yeah, I like it. I really like the Advanced VX. It's a great, great option for somebody getting into 
uh, visual, computerized, and then maybe even some light duty astrophotography if you're going to use a lightweight scope. Uh, deep sky for sure, uh, but planetary, yeah, it can work. But um, anyways, guys, it's been Chris, super fast AC, RC and ATV. Today we're looking at a telescope thing again. So you can read it right there. It's Uranus. It's tracking. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.